Hey, welcome back everybody. Some of y'all might have picked up the latest Guggen Squad Ketchko rods. And we have a green and a gold series. Both of them have some symbols on them and you may be wondering what, what is going on there. And it is called the Catch Smart System and that's what we're gonna break down today and answer a lot of questions that some of you may have or if you haven't gotten these rods yet, uh, just showcase how these rods are easy to use and just very simple to pick up, recognize what action, what powers, and how they match up with different types of lures. It just makes it really quick and easy to select the right rod with the right lure. So we have five different categories in the Catch Smart system for our rods and those are twitch, muscle, finesse, reaction, and go to. And each one of those represents uh, a category that works with certain types of lures really well. And these are basic categories. There, there's more in-depth things that you can do uh, and get more specific, but these are the five types of categories that you need when you're going bass fishing and it makes it really easy to cover 99% of what you're gonna do when you're going out bass fishing. So let's start out with the first one, and that's reaction. Now this rod I love to use on most of my treble hook type baits, your reaction lures. Medium diamond crankbaits, square bills, uh, lipless cranks, uh, I'll even use it on spinner baits and other skirted type baits sometimes, but it loads up really well. So it is a 7.2 medium moderate, but that's kind of the technical side. What you need to know is that you're gonna get more distance with this rod because it's, it's loading up better on that, on that cast. When you go to swing back, release on that rod, you'll feel it load up and push out more than a stiffer type rod will. So you're gonna get more distance on your cast. And then also, when you get that fish, the fish is gonna stay pinned better because because of the action of this rod, any type of treble hook bait, uh, when a fish starts slinging their head, turning, jumping, and things like that, you want that little softer type action that's gonna keep that fish pinned with those treble hooks. Oh, there he is. Good. Crushed it. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Feisty fish. Oh, baby. That's what I like to see right there. That scout is just sideways in the mouth. Sometimes I like to go with the, the old scoop. There we go. Nice fish right there. Woo, baby. Look at that. That's when you know you got a good color tight on. <laughs> All right. See you, buddy. Twitch, as the name implies, this rod is made for twitching lures, especially your hard baits, like jerk baits and top waters. That is where you need a little bit shorter rod that's gonna allow you to point your rod tip downward. And if you look at the butt section on this rod, you'll see it's a little shorter as well. And that allows you to not rub up against your rib cage when you've got that rod facing downward and doing that twitch action. When you're working a lot of these baits and you need that good side to side or twitch, you're using the rod more than your reel. So it's really important to have the right rod and this one's perfect. It's a six nine, so it's under seven foot. You have a lot of control. It also loads up good because it's that medium moderate, but it is just tailor made for throwing your jerk baits and your top waters. She went a little wide right. Oh, we got it right there. Just buzzing it in. That was insane. He followed it out from that tree, I bet you. Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh, 51 degree water, buzzing it in. And I, I think this fish just followed it in from that tree. This, this is where you need that softer rod. When a fish grabs it like that, he's just got one hook. Got one hook. 
Ugh. Had I not had the right rod, that would have been tough to get that fish in. Well, he just screamed at it, slapped it, hooked him in the bottom of the chin, and still landed him. Thanks for the fun fight, my friend. We'll see you next time. Got ourselves a nice little jerk bait bite going here with the twitch rod, but we're gonna go over all of these. So the next rod I have in my hand is the go-to, and this is my favorite rod in the system. It's probably gonna be yours too because you can do so much with it. It's a seven foot medium power fast action. It's gonna give you more backbone. It's, it's got that faster action so you can fish your jigs, you can fish Texas rigs, you can fish spinner baits, you can fish your vibrating jigs. So many different things you can fish on this that it's really effective with. And I love the length. I love the castability of it. It's just an all around perfect rod. So that's why we call it the go-to because when you pick this thing up, you're gonna find that you can make this work with a lot of different lures. It's like the jack of all trades. Oh, got him. Oh my God, biggin, 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 biggin. Oh, dude, if this is a bass. I think it's a tilapia, but I don't know. It has a dark back. This is weird. Holy moly, it knocked the tarnation out of it. Now we're going, now we're going down here. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. I got him in the mouth, but on the outside too, it's a good one. Wow, this thing absolutely crushed. Ooh, come here with that mouth, you cold one. Oh yeah. There's a juicy. That fish got angry, came up and slapped it. I've had a few bites today where the fish just kind of you know, they swipe at it and you miss them, but if you got some really sharp hooks, sometimes you'll, you'll get them and you've got to, got to, got to have the right rod. All right, you big juicy, go get bigger. Love the tenacity on you. Woo. Now it's time to muscle up. So just got ourselves another jerkbait fish. Uh, with the twitch, we're on that kind of bite, but if I'm gonna move offshore a little bit, like there's a creek channel that comes out, throw some Texas rigs out, make some long casts, this is what I'm gonna pick up. If I'm gonna go up in the shallow weeds and I'm gonna flip, you know, bandito bugs and jigs and things up in that shallow grass, this is the rod I'm gonna go with. If I'm gonna go up there and throw a frog with braid, this is the rod I'm gonna go with. So this is the beef. This is the muscle, as the name implies. It is a 7.5, it is a heavy power, fast action. So this is going to be a powerhouse. You know, essentially when you need to pull fish out of cover, when you need that extra leverage, or you need to make a long cast, and when you make that long cast with fluorocarbon or mono, even with braid, and you need that leverage to make the hook set, even if you're bank fishing or something, this is the rod to go with. There he is. Got him. Oh. oh yeah. Tasty one on the green series reaction. Throwing that banger. Ooh. Now he's digging. This is where it gets a little tricky. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, that's exactly why you want the reaction. Because <laughs> that one little hook that got in there just fell out. So that rod really loads and rebounds nicely so you can keep fish like that hooked up on your rod. Awesome. So like all the other rods in the Catch Smart system, you got your symbol right here at the base of the rod, finesse, got the feather on there. So you know, this is the finesse light. And this is a 610 and it's a moderate. 
So it's a good general all purpose, great for casting these little crank baits and little jerk baits, things like that. But also the more typical things you think of, you could go with a drop shot, you go with a weightless worm, you go with your Ned rig, all that. It's really, really good. Really good, just all purpose finesse rod. Ooh, there it is. Smashed. This is just the bite today. It's the best thing to do. We're out here in kind of the winter time, so jerk bait's just really effective. Oh, here we go. Come here, buddy. Another fish on the scout. Another fish on the twitch. I love throwing a jerk bait and just twitching it. And then all of a sudden your rod just stops and you've got a fish on. They hit it on the paws 99% of the time. So when you go to make your next twitch, they're just latched. Awesome. Good fish. See you, amigo. Okay, we're gonna close it out. Fun day fishing out here with the new Guggen Squad Catchco rods. And I hope you all learned something with the Catch Smart system. So the idea of this system is to make it really easy to just pick up your rod out of the rod box or out of, out of your truck or just, you know, wherever and be able to see that, that mark right there and know exactly what you need to throw on it. And it coincides with the tackle as well. So as we go forward into the future, you'll see our Guggen Squad catch go baits match up with in the packaging and just make it really easy to uh, identify a whole ecosystem to use when you're bass fishing so you can see the outline of the catch smart system right here on the side of the rod that really highlights the best use for this so you can use you can play around and use different rods on different things and find what you like best but this really outlines what in this ecosystem, the Catch Smart system, what it's best for. So on our Twitch rod here, you see we have full bars on Twitch. It's got the reaction rating, muscle, and finesse too. So it gives you a, the ability to just look at that and kind of see what other baits might do on this as well. So you don't have to just pigeonhole this into one particular thing. Obviously, it's going to be highlighted over here on the best thing and then you can kind of experiment from there But it just gives you a good idea the overall rating of the catch smart system We're already excited about the feedback from those of you that have, have the rods already But if you haven't go check them out get some in your hands fish with them and let us know what you think Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time